last year I met, you know, um, educational basketball. They introduced me to the game of football, you know. They took me to Abuja for the uprise camp where I met OC yeah. and he saw my potential. So yeah, I was, you know, grateful to be um, invited for the NFL Africa camp in Ghana. Then I put up, you know, yeah. good numbers and I was recruited then to be at the NFL yeah. Academy and I'm here now. Welcome back to another episode of George on Sports with me, your host, George. And on today's show, I'm really looking forward to this one, being able to speak to Emmanuel Okoye of the NFL Academy. I'm pretty sure you've heard his name, um, you know, the talk of the time right now. Uh, the things that he's doing at the Academy, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're amazing, you know, this, that's, they're amazing. Um, Emmanuel, how are you? And welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, let's, first things first, let's, let's rewind and let's talk about, about you and your background. Um, talk about if you've got any siblings, your Nigerian bloodline, tell me everything. Oh, um, I was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. My, my, my hometown is uh, Anambra State in, in Nigeria. So, yeah, um, I have four siblings. I have three sisters and a brother. So my parents, everyone is back home in Nigeria. And, you know, me being out here is, you know, they, they're expecting, you know, much. So, yeah, they know I'm out here for, you know, a great purpose. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but growing up, you said you've got, you've got a number of siblings. Did you all play sport? And if you did, what kind of sports did you all play? I'm curious to know. Uh, growing up, we played like different sports. I'll say like soccer, you know, run like track field, you know, in school, you just do anything you can get your hands on. So it was more like a fun stuff. So, in 2019, 2019, yeah, I started playing basketball. So basketball was like the main thing I did, you know, going, working out, like, you know, trying to be the best player I could be, you know, getting into the sports world. I knew, you know, my future was in my hands. So my parents, you know, don't have much to affect my future. So I knew it was just going to be me, you know. So I, I had to, like, put in all my head down, begin to work. So last year I met, you know, um educational basketball they introduced me to the game of football you know they took me to abuja for the uprise camp where i met oc yeah. and he saw my potential so yeah, i was you know grateful to be um invited for the nfl africa camp in ghana then i put up you know yeah. good numbers and i was recruited then to be at the nfl yeah. academy and i'm here now we'll talk about those numbers shortly too but i mean just the fact that you know, this level of, of athleticism and talent. Um, you mentioned NFL and OC, something that people know, you know, NFL Africa, we're trying to raise the game, raise the game because quite frankly, there are sleeping giants like yourself walking all over Africa. Um, but you mentioned basketball and I've seen the videos of, of the, the dunks, the posted on guys, the one handed interceptions, but I mean, the, the, the tape doesn't lie, you know, um, so you can see that basketball was definitely something for you and you've been able to carry that that skill and ability in terms of the explosiveness into American football. Now talking American football, when were you first introduced it? You mentioned that you were taken by OC um, to um, the Art Prize Academy, but how did that come about? Obviously you were, were you scouted per se, or was, did someone come and contact you whilst you were playing the game of basketball? Um, yeah, I used to play basketball. So there's um, a basketball program in Nigeria, you know, they're great people, educational basketball. So there's uh there is uh, is um managed by two brothers, two coaches, Olutobi and Ishiolupo at Epiton. So they are great guys, you know. I reached out to them. I, I saw it like on the Instagram story one time, so I just decided to, you know, just reach out. So they called me over and, you know, from there it all started. They prepared me for the all price camp and, you know, I did pretty well. So they've been the ones, you know, pushing me before I came to the NFL Academy. So, yeah. Hmm. And and talk to me about meeting Osi. You know, he's a two-time Super Bowl winner from the New York Giants, um, responsible for a lot of things going on with NFL Africa. What was it like meeting him? Man, it, was, it was a great feeling, to be honest. Like, seeing someone of, you know, great, like, someone of that kind of, you know, caliber is different. Like, he's a great guy in person. You know, with such, like, he has done so much in the league that so many people know his name. So, yeah, uh, meeting him was, was 
graceful and I really enjoyed the moment. So was your introduction to uh, the Enterprise Academy led to you landing on the NFL Academy? Um, now, what was that process like? Because obviously you've been with the Academy, you've played a couple of games and in those two games, you've done quite a few things, strip sacks, um, playing through double teams, because I've seen the footage, hustling to the ball. Um, in your second game, you're getting sack after sack after sack. What has the academy been like to you? Well, the academy has been great so far. Great coaches, great teammates. You know, my teammates are just like brothers to me. You know, we all stay in the same environment. So we're always together all the time, training together, going to um, meetings together, walking together, going to class together. So it's more of like a brotherhood. So I feel, you know, good with them training together, like coming here, like meeting great people who, you know, have a sight on their future and know what they want. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really great out here. The energy is different. And considering the fact that you've only been playing since September 2022, and, you know, in in that short space of time, I think things have, have changed in a, in a, a very quick manner <laughs> in terms of you not playing the sport and now playing the sport, um, and leading to things like the combine. So to talk about those kind of numbers, I mean, you're talking about seven foot two wingspan, um, 11 foot three inches, uh, broad jump, 45.5 vert. You know, when people saw those numbers, you know, it kind of it went viral. I, I'm sure you kind of knew, but that those numbers, they, they weren't clear, man. Um, what does that feel like? How was the combine to you? Did you enjoy the process? Yeah, I, I enjoyed the whole process. Me coming into, acad into the academy, I came in at a, a much lighter weight. I was about like 208 pounds. Right now I'm like 228, 230. So like there's so much improvement. When I came into the academy, I was jumping a 42 inch vert. Right now I'm jumping a 45.5. So like the coaches, the system has helped me improve so much. So uh, it was a great feeling at the combine, putting up, you know, such numbers. And I know I could do better. So like in me being in, you know, the great environment where I could develop with time. I know that the sky is the starting point for me. Yeah, I think you summarise it. You summarise it quite well. I mean, those numbers, they jump off the board, you know. Um, those numbers for someone who's as tall as you, six foot five as well, I believe that's right, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, no, doing all the right things. But how does it, how does it feel to know you can see the, traje the traje trajectory even, <laughs> the trajectory that you're going um, in terms of progression with the sport in such a small space of time, being noticed by guys like Osi, Yuminira, the Super Bowl winner, obviously, being part of the academy. Um, you've played a couple of games now, but knowing your your path and your journey, and you said your family are back home in Nigeria, how, how does that feel knowing, you know, you're playing for something more than football, but you have, you know, the um, you want to do well by your family at the same time? What does that feel like? Um, I, I just, I'll say it's a blessing because my family, you know, see me in a good position and they want the best for me. So me going out there, I put all my heart into what I do because I know where I come from. I know where I used to be. So me being here, like, that's my motivation. I, I can't go back to where I came from. You know, it's just, we just keep moving forward, keep improving to get to, you know, because I'm nowhere yet. I still have a lot to learn. They have a lot to, like, just offers their opportunities, but they don't make me feel like I'm, I'm on top. I've, I've, I've gotten nowhere yet. So, like, I just keep that mentality and keep pushing because people back home are looking at me. I'm a motivation, like, to so many people. People see my story. Be, um, so many young athletes like me, you know, seeing how far I've gone with football in such a short time, it's giving them that inspiration to, you know, know that they can, you know, do such stuff, like, what I've done so yeah it's just I just keep moving keep working and and on the note of of working and having that movement and progression forwards there's been a number of offers you know that you have received from a number of different places um just to name a few you got you got Ole Miss you got Tennessee Duke Deion Sardis Colorado Buffaloes National Champs Georgia Texas Tech you know to name a few and you talk about wanting to make your family proud and do well by your family. I mean, that list speaks for itself. Um, and it's a testament to how far you've come, like you say, in a short space of time where you've put everything into this sport. Um, and I believe this is the start of, of you know, bearing the fruits of your labour. Um, so, you know, the sky, the sky really is the limit. The sky is the limit. Um, let's talk about Africa. 
so we have the Uprise Academy. We know what, what's trying to be achieved with that um, program. Again, being able to bring people from the land of Africa over into the NFL because, I mean, there are so many guys in the NFL as it is. But like you and I know and OC knows and, and Benny knows, you know, there are sleeping giants in Africa. Being able to do what you're doing, how do you see the sport potentially growing in Nigeria, um, in Ghana, in Kenya and all these other places? Because obviously they're seeing what athletes are doing and how the uprise is going to each of these places, holding camps, trying to recruit this talent. Do you think it'll be... Uh, do you think it will be long before, you know, this starts to become a regular current or we start to produce star talent? Um, you know, Africa as a whole has produced so many great athletes, great people in sports. So it's not actually like a new thing, but mm. the way it's go like going right now, like within a short time, it's going to grow really large because great things that people like OC, Omenyora is doing, you know, in different countries of Africa, um, Ousu Karamo of the Cleveland Browns, you know, he's That's having right. camps in Ghana too. Um, these people are really doing great jobs, you know, putting the game out there. And people see myself, you know, with what God has, you know, put before me. And yeah, it's so much of an inspiration putting Africa on the limelight, you know. So yeah, like more people keep knowing about the sport, more people, you know, want to get into the sport. And you know what Africa has, like, it's a mine of treasures. So many athletes, so many, so many talents, just there. Yeah. So, yeah, people, once people get their hands on this, you know, it's going to grow. Is there anyone you'd say in particular that has has sort of shown you the way or um, given you great advice during your journey? Has been with you the entire journey. Obviously, obviously, someone you met personally, but is there anybody in particular that you know has 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 been there along the the way? Um, I would say my parents. <laughs> like my parents have been like they've been with me through all what i've been going through because i play basketball i you know play basketball i had some opportunities that that I couldn't you know take hold of that i missed you know like but not right now where i am i see like look back look at what they've done their prayers you know god giving me the inspiration guiding my steps in all that i've done so like, i'm just grateful for my parents and uh um, uh, educational basketball coaches, uh, Coach Olutobi and Isholopo, like I really give them a big shout out. They've done so much for me, like you know, putting me through the, like giving me a great welcome into the sport of football. Like they prepared me, you know, showed me what the weight room work was like, the intensity yeah. of the workouts and everything. So me coming to the academy, it wasn't really something new to me. Like they've already prepared my mind for all the work. So. Me, I'm just moving on from where they've put me on. So I'm really grateful for those two great guys that, you know, doing great work in Nigeria yeah. and myself too. Would you say there's anything you've learned through this progress of, of from playing multiple sports to having basketball opportunities and, you know, being brought along to the Uprise Academy and now NFA Academy? Is there anything that you'd say you've learned along this way? Yeah, I've learned so much. Like, I've learned that there's no limit to, you know, what, you can do as a person and you know like i've learned also that what you want to do might more, not, not be what's best for you like because me i'm a christian so i believe greatly in god i, I allow god to guide my steps like so what I, what I just see it is that what he's done in my life it's not actually you know how i put it now <laughs> like it's different because yeah. i've always you know tried to do things I wanted to do, but he was like, go this way. This is what I want you to do. Yeah. You feel me? So like, yeah, it's just so much consistency too, because if I decided to, you know, quit basketball at one point, because I've always had thoughts of like quitting, but my parents were always there to push me. I always had great people. My family were always there to, you know, tell me, keep going, supporting me all the way. So like keeping the work going, just 1% better every day, putting something in and, I'm here today, grateful to God. Emmanuel, so, I mean, what's next? We, we, we know which way you're heading with, with American football. Um, you know, you've had plenty of offers come in. What is next for you, I guess, finishing at the academy and, you know, having a look at what your options are? Um, right now, the position I am, I'm looking to enroll this summer, hopefully. So I have, I'm still checking the boxes, 
evaluate and doing all my research. So hopefully I get into a place I could call home, a great school that, you know, I could develop and become the best player I can. So, yeah, that's just what's on my mind right now. Just, you know, to get better, to get my head down, be coachable, be a student of the game. You know, try to learn as much as I can because you can't really learn it all. Uh, there's every level has its own stuff. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to be in the moment. But with that, that brings us to the end of the show. Emmanuel, thank you for coming on. Um, I enjoyed that one. I mean, when I, when I saw your name out there, you, you know, I see the offers that are coming in. I knew I wanted to have a conversation. Um, and it's important too to raise the awareness and to show people that things like the Uprise Academy, obviously they're working, yeah. um, putting you guys into the NFL Academy and then being able to achieve big things. So continue to do what you're doing. Um, guys, stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to have some more guests on. But until then, Emmanuel, thank you once again. I've been George from George on Sports, Emmanuel Okoye of the NFL Academy, and we'll see you on the next episode. All right. Thank you so much for having me, man. I really appreciate it.